everyone. Today I got another unboxing of an Android-based tablet, and this one's from Amazon, their Fire series, the Fire HD 6 kids version. And what this basically has is special software on it that boots up directly to the, the kids software so that it's all kid-friendly on there, and it launches the Amazon Free Time app on there, which gives access to over 5,000 books, apps, videos, all kinds of stuff like that for learning and entertainment for your kids. Plus, it has the foam bumper on the outside, so the kids drop it or whatever. It should be safe. Plus, there's a two-year warranty on these uh, for drops and spills and all that, included right into the base price uh, from Amazon. So basically, it's a Fire HD 6 that's made just for kids. Now, the one thing I got to warn about on here is that there's a lot of complaints about not having enough uh, room on these because the uh, the OS and the free time uh, app on here takes a lot of data so if you get an 8 gig version of this you're not gonna have much left uh, for your own apps and books and videos to download on here so I recommend Definitely, if you're ever going to get one of these, to get the 16 gigabyte version. Now, this has all the usual bells and whistles, gyroscopes, accelerometers, uh, built-in speakers, headphone jacks, um, all that stuff. It's got a really nice screen. Anything nowadays that has, uh, any tablet nowadays that has a really nice screen on them, that has a high uh, DPI count on there. But this one, as you can see on here, it's just made. I mean, you have parental controls, everything just built right into it. So it's really nice that you can just hand it to your kid, and he can entertain himself or learn, and not have to worry about anything, you know, purchasing anything or otherwise. So we're going to get to the unboxing on here. And I'm sure there will be a lot of videos in the future of the pros and cons of this uh, as time goes on. So let's open it up. Check it out. I'm going to try to get it all charged it up and set up before uh, I hand it out to my son. So the bumper comes separately. And there was some complaints about this just being a foam bumper. Well, that's what it says in the description. So yes, it's a foam bumper. So let's see how sturdy it feels. I mean, it's like a rubberized foam uh, core bumper. So I mean, it feels good to me. It's not too bulky. I was worried about being too bulky on the edges and being hard to hold and all that. Uh, but it doesn't seem too bulky, but it just... It's thick enough to provide, you know, protection uh, for drops and all that. So as long as it holds up, doesn't start chipping off the paint on here or whatever, the coloring. Uh, looks like a winner to me. We'll see how it fits on the actual uh, little tablet here. I have to open this one up too. Now I got the 6 inch because my son is very young and it just makes sense that they can... He doesn't hold it close anyways, and he doesn't want to hold this big old tablet and carry it around. So we're definitely, the 6 inch should be big enough uh, for anything it needs on there. So we have uh, some basic tips for all the different features on there, where all the inputs and outputs are, speakers, all that stuff. We got that. We have their version of the charging on here, the charging cable. And it takes a regular standard micro USB on there which is a standardized jack on there instead of the proprietary stuff like Apple does. So that's nice. Another thing you gotta recognize on here is that this tablet is not made to access the Google Play Store, the regular Android, Google uh, based app stores. They have their own app store for Amazon, so you gotta realize that also on here. And I think these do not, uh, they just do not have a slot for expansion for memory either. I'm almost positive. Hence all the complaints about that internal 8 gigs. But this one shouldn't be a problem being 16. It should be plenty. What else they give you in here real quick before we get too far? Okay, so here's the actual wall adapter. Real simple. little square. Pops out. Folds up. First uh, storage and all that. I don't see no headphones yet. I guess they figure you buy some extra headphones from Amazon or otherwise. So that does not come in. It's a charging cable and jack on there. And there's your port for charging and transferring files. You got your headphone jack on there. Your speakers. You got your cameras. You got rear facing and front facing cameras on here. So that's all built into it. So these should be the volume right here. See these two up and down. And then I imagine this last one up top here would be the power button. So let's try it out. Hold it, turn it on. All right, there we go. 
And some are complaining that this is kind of slow, but what I imagine once it loads up, it should be just fine. I think any tablet nowadays is, is plenty fast. And the screens on, like I said, are, they're, they're great looking for sure. So these are going to take a little while to load up, especially the first time because it's doing all the setup on there. Okay. English, obviously. And it just basically guides you right through all your setup, like connect to your network and all that stuff. So I'll go through the setup in another video. I just wanted to do is an unboxing, let you know my, my thoughts on it. And my thought is, so far so good. I like the case on here and the weight of it feels nice. And let's see how it goes into this thing. It just slips in like any other um, case. I just want to see how bulky it was. It definitely fits in here tight, so that's a good thing. You don't want it popping out of there. Wow. Okay. Get it in all the way around. Just make sure you put it in there right the first time because you don't want to take this thing out again, again, again. There's only ports are available. Buttons. Speaker. And... It looks like there's plenty of room for any kind of different connections you have on here, headphones and such. So, so far so good. I mean, it's got really good thick bumpers on the edge here, even in the thin part right here, where I think it'd take a good hit. But you know you know when it's, it falls to the ground, it's definitely gonna go like this. It's gonna be tumbling down the stairs, uh, down like this. So that's why the corners are extra thick on there. But if you wanna hold it like this, or hold it like this, it gets thinner so it's even easier to hold. And then when it bumps out like that, a little bit it kind of cradles in your palm of your hand there. So that's nice also. So, so, so far, it's absolutely freaking awesome. We're gonna see how the performance is on here. And of course, how that storage holds up on here with all the different things that can be downloaded. Before on the eight gig, they were having to, you know, delete apps and stuff out there every freaking day just for the kid to be able to use it again. So hopefully with the 16 gig, there isn't really a problem, except maybe once a month.